it's mommy Tang. What's up, Tang gangs? Oh my gosh, yesterday I had a meetup. Thank you guys for coming. Oh my gosh, I was so, so, so like, <gasps> I can't even find the word. You know what I mean? I was so scared actually in the beginning because I was like, what if nobody shows up? And I was like, oh. But so many of you guys came out and you guys were so nice and so happy to see me and that made me happy and it was just great. So you know who you are. Mama T was there and oh gosh, I told her I was gonna mention, remember? So thank you. I really, really thank you, thank you. And I'm gonna post a vlog about it this weekend. So please check that out and you get to see who came and what we did and all that stuff. Okay, now on with the recipe. Okay. So yesterday I did a little video from my husband, his story, how we met, and they're like, so many comments said, Mommy say, do part three. Mommy say, do part three, do part three. What do you mean to do? You mean to like make my life into a, like an episode or something? Like one to like 55 or something? God. <laughs> On top of that, this channel, is a recipe mukbang. You guys come here to see recipe. I can't be just sitting here just eating rice and kimchi and talking to you about my life. I mean, I think I'll lose a lot of subscribers that way. So today, just for people that come here for my recipe, I will do a recipe video today okay so either you like it or not that's what i'm gonna do and if you want to hear about my husband maybe you'll do another you know story talk or was it story time yes yeah, something like that now this recipe you need scallions a lot of it too look at this look how much I know I did another recipe before and you're like, oh my gosh, who eats that much scallion? I do! And I love scallion. Scallion is something I never run out in my house. Never. 365 days, you'll see it in my house. If you need scallions, just come on over to my house. I have so many recipes using these, but this is one of my favorite as well. I used to buy everything organic, you guys. I used to. Like, I thought organic was better, but slowly I'm learning and I'm like hearing things that organic and conventional, they're same. It doesn't really matter. I hear these things so much, so I need to do some research. But meanwhile, I'm just gonna use a regular scallion. I used to only eat organic scallion, you guys, and they were expensive. For something like this, it'll cost you like $1.99 or something. For a whole bunch like this right now, it was 99 cents. You know what I mean? So, I don't know. I'm just gonna use this. <laughs> I'm gonna see if I get sick. I don't think I'll get sick. So you need scallions, okay? Get a lot. Get a lot of scallions, especially Asian, Koreans. We eat scallion all the time. So if you go to Korean market, you find them very, very cheap. They'll always have it. If it's a Korean market, they will have it guaranteed 100%. It's something they would have, okay? Before we do everything with the scallions, what we need shiitake mushroom, okay? You could get them raw, raw, live? I don't know, like raw, I guess, I don't know. And, but I use dry because I use these on soup stocks for everything, you know? Like I can't live without these. So I always get big bags like this and I use it on soup stocks, I use it on everything. So I have so many recipes using these mushroom. So that's what I'll be using today. Another main ingredient we have is let me say what is that wait be patient i gotta open it you know ah. they're called enoki mushrooms okay sometimes they have it at whole foods i've seen them at whole foods i've seen them i haven't really seen them on my local supermarket no i see this a korean supermarket all the time they're called like i said enoki e-n-o-k-i enoki mushrooms okay they're mushrooms that are long like this oh it's allergy season and my nose is running and they're just mushrooms see how they look like mushroom on the top like this but look how long they are see like they're long they're long long mushrooms <laughs> long and skinny <laughs> we need that because this recipe called pajeon okay usually people eat hemul pajeon hemul is seafood and they put a lot of seafood with pajeon 
Chan is pancakes. Pa means scallion. Hammer, seafood. Pa, scallion, chan, pancake. So you just add that up and you'll get whatever. But we're not gonna do that because we're vegans. We vegans don't eat sea creatures. <laughs> so we're gonna use mushrooms instead. And this actually has a texture of almost like a, a scallop. Like, you know, how scallop is kind of like chewy a little bit, you know, the jonduk jonduk, you know, that I like. So I'm gonna use these instead. So are they taste Great. So, shall we start? Okay, here comes the ghetto -ness. The first thing you want to do is you want to soak these dry mushrooms. They're really dry, see? So you're going to soak them over a water, warm water, whatever water. You could do it overnight. You could um, do it for like a couple hours. This has been soaking for about two hours now. You want to first rinse them off under running water and then you want to soak them, you know, in clean water and then this will look like, and then look, look they'll get really plumped up and they'll get really soft and, you know, they'll, they'll look like mushroom, but look, like, you know, if you could bend it, you'll know, they're ready. If they're not hard, they're ready, okay? So we need to get that ready. I don't know, get as much as you want, whatever amount that you want. Oh yeah, when I soak them, when you first put them in the water, they will float because the mushrooms are dry. So I usually get like something heavy and just put it on the top to like soak them. That way, you know, they're all nice and soft. So put that away. But you want to do this. That's the first thing you want to do. Next thing you want to do is you want to cut some scallions. Now, if you use these recipes with like a smaller scallion, thin scallions, then honestly, you don't have to do this step because they're thin already, but these are thick. Look how thick they are. They're like thicker than my finger. See? You know what I mean? So if you use, you could only find scallion like this, then you just want to make it a little bit thinner because it'll cook faster and you don't want to eat raw scallion. It's not going to taste good. This scallion tastes good when it's cooked and then the juice will become um, sweet. You know what I mean? So that, and always save the roots. You know, you could regrow them or you could use it on soup stocks. So what you're going to do is pretty much, you're going to cut them half like so, all the way through. Okay, if they're really thick, see what I'm doing there? I'm just cutting it in half, like splitting it. Okay, that's what you want to do. For whatever, how much scallion you want to eat. Of course, I washed it and all that stuff, all the good stuff, you know. Okay, so now that they're long, if you have a huge fry pan, this will be great. But if you don't have it, then... Um, a little dirty piece if you don't have it then you want to cut them in half like so but you don't want to cut them short you know this is good look how much scallion we have oh my god a lot of scallion right so that's what we need okay i think i'm gonna cut a couple more i don't think it'll be enough for me i don't want to eat something and be like oh that wasn't enough you know We need some batter, right? When you make pancake, what do you use? Flour. So you could use any type of flour. I'm going to use white whole wheat flour. Okay, I think there it's, I don't know if it's bleached or unbleached, I don't know. But try to get healthiest flour that you have, you could get, you could use regular flour. This guy is making me cry. You know what I mean? It's really spicy. <gasps> okay, you just want to grab a little bit and then you want to sprinkle it on the scallion. Oh, why do you do that? So when you cook it, they stick to each other a little bit, you know? So just a little tiny, tiny bit. Some people do this, some people don't. I do, okay? Like so. And then it's just kind of like... Very little bit. Don't be like, <laughs> okay, so set that aside, okay? Okay, let's make some batter. If you're using whole wheat, I mean whole wheat flour, or any sort of like whole wheat non-bleached one, they're not going to be white and they're not going to be as sticky as the white all-purpose flour, I guess. So what you want to do is, if you're doing that, I mean if you're not, then, I mean, you could just do whatever you want. Let's put that away. You want to add sweet rice flour. Yeah, 
But if you can't find this, you can find this in Korean uh, supermarkets. They have them all. But if you can't find it, don't worry about it. Just use white, regular white flour. It'll work fine. But this will make it a little bit jorgy jorgy. Do you remember jorgy jorgy? This will do the trick. So you just want to put a little bit in there. Yeah. Like this one? Yeah. You definitely don't want to put a lot. You know, just a little bit. You know? How much, mommy Tang? Listen, do you ever see me measure my food? Do you? That's your answer, okay? Into that, we're gonna put some garlic powder. Any garlic powder we're doing. So these are the dry ingredients, you guys. You know, everybody says, put the dry ingredients. This is what it is. Next, I'm gonna put some new nutritional i never can new nutritional nutritional yeast nu, nutritional yeast nutri, nutritional yeast sorry <laughs> i can't pronounce that i don't know why but you know what it is right what is it daddy <gasps> it's daddy hi well can i do it can yes. I do it? So, nutritional yeast, I'm gonna put that in there. Mommy Tang, I don't have nutritional yeast. Do I need to put it I in there? No! This is your recipe. What is really important is the flour. After the flour, you know, the, 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 the sweet flour, sweet rice flour, this is very optional. We don't do this to flavor. It's like almost like, do I have to wear a necklace and earring? No, you don't have to wear it. It's one of those things. Ow, Pepita! Ow. Okay, put it in here. Be gentle. Be gentle. Gentle. Oh my god, that's not gentle. Oh that was a lot. Alright. You want to mix honey? Yeah. Alright. Be gentle. You know gentle, right? Yeah. That's gentle. Some black pepper in there. Put some salt in there. I have some sea salt. Just a little bit. Put some sugar in there. I'm using coconut sugar. You could use whatever sugar you want. You don't have to put sugar either. Okay, like I said, it's optional. Okay, only thing that you really need is flour. How many times do I have to tell you? Mommy Tang, are you done? <laughs> I've cut. Of course, yes. I bet you you are the you know, I was gonna say of course not. We're done. I got you this time. Got him. My boy always says that. Got him. God. I want to do it. All right. So that's the dry ingredients. Okay. Now into that, you need to put some liquid. Oh god. It's so dusty. It's so dusty. It's so dusty. What? Pepita, come here. Come here for a second. What's so come dusty? Here. Okay, Pepita. Yeah. Pita, do you love me? Yeah. No. Pita, look at me. This is very... Wait. Look at me. This is very serious. Do you love me? Yeah. How much? That is too... That is... I asked you how much. How much? A big much. A big much? Yeah. Thanks. I love you. Okay. Next. So, uh, we need some liquid in here. Do you remember the juice that we used for the mushroom? The soap juice, we're gonna use that, okay? Not many people do this, but I do because it's good for you and it'll bring up the, the flavor. The flavor. No, I just no honey, wait, wait, let me do it first. Let me do it and then you can do it, okay? Let me do it first. Because I don't know how much water is in there, you know what I mean? So you wanna make it pretty liquidy. Oh gosh, she's like, liquidy. Like you don't want, this is not it, okay? No, no, no. Almost like a, you know how like you're making pancake? It's like that, you know? It's Korean pancakes. I'm so mean. I'm mean? Because I don't let you do it? Yeah. Oh. Mommy, make it mess. I know. Yeah. How much water do I put in mommy's thing? I don't know! Just do it! I just know. I know. You know? Is that? This? See? It's too thick. You don't want to make it runny, but you want to make it like... Can I do now? Hold up. I don't know what you want to make it like. Like a thin yogurt? No! Like a thin 
pancake. Like when you're making crepes, gosh, <laughs> like that, okay? This is still too thick. Taking me forever to do this. Excuse me, Pepita. Please don't do that. You're gonna transfer the uh, the scallion over because I need the uh, the cutting board, okay? Okay, so I transfer over the other uh, scallion. I have myself a very dirty but clean, um, you know, cutting board. I'm just gonna use it because I'm lazy. Okay, you want to squeeze the mushroom that we soaked. Okay. And then you want to cut it into a very, very thin slice. Thin, okay? Go as thin as possible, like really thin, okay? That's the goal. If you can't cut it thin, then that's your problem, not mine. For some reason, a lot of Americans love this dish. And a lot of guys like this dish. I have no idea, but I love it too. I'm not American and I'm not a guy, but I love it. Okay, so now, so you cut it and then you put them aside, okay? Enoki mushroom, they come in little packages like this and you'll see the roots and then you see the top. So you just hold the roots and you're just going to use the top of the mushroom. The like mushroom. so. Okay, so you're going to use this part and just trash it. I'm sorry, but... Ooh. And I usually uh, get really lazy. So I showed you guys, but this is the way I do it. I just get a package and I just cut it straight down from like this. And then I have clean cut like this, and then you just maybe if you want to rinse it, you could put water here, rinse it like that, and then just take it out. Yeah, easy peasy, right? But it's good. So we have a shiitake mushroom and enoki mushroom ready to go. Are we ready to cook and eat? Let's do this. You could use any type of fry pan. I'm gonna use um, the cast iron fry pan. I like using that. So. You're gonna heat it up, you're gonna put some oil in there. This recipe does require a little bit of oil because it's pancakes, you know? So I'm gonna use just a little bit of olive oil. You could use whatever olive oil you like. I'm to do it. I don't know if it was allowed or not. I can't really look over, but oh well. It made a lot of noise. So you're gonna put a little bit of that on the bottom, very little, like maybe a spoon or two, very little. Then you're gonna put your scallions on the top, like so. Okay? You just wanna put them like in a straight line. And then you cook it. Ah, uh, mommy saying they don't, they look kind of weird. They're not sticking to each other. Just wait a bit, okay? Wait a little bit. And then you have to do this in a medium heat or medium high heat, something like that. And you have to cook the bottom side of it, right? And when you're done, well, about two minutes later, you're gonna add the mushroom on top. What kind of mushroom is this, children? Yes. <laughs> shiitake mushroom. Put some shiitake mushroom on the top. And then you put the enoki mushroom on the top. Yeah, obviously nothing's happening on the top because everything in the bottom is cooking. So what you want to do is you want to pour this batter on the top gently, like so. Okay. Like so. Mm -hmm. Hold on. So this batter makes the scallion and all that stuff kind of stick together. You know? That's what it does. Now it's time to flip. This works really good if you have, this is for fish. You know, I don't eat fish anymore. But this is to actually um, flip the fish around. Something very fragile. So this is really good and handy. So if you have something like this, it works really good. We're gonna scoop it around all the way to the top. <laughs> Try to like, oh, you know what I mean? Like that, see? How it's kind of like being up together. And on three, oh gosh, let's 
Let's hope that I don't screw this up this time. Guys, you just wait till you start eating this. If you're like, oh my god, if you love scallion, this is so good. And the sauce that you're gonna be eating this with, so good. Okay, so I have it in a low setting, so because I'm gonna, you know, you have to cook it through. You could put a lid on it to kind of steam it through. You could do either way, but the scallion has to be cooked. If it's not cooked, it's not gonna be good, okay? We're gonna make the sauce for the pancake. Any soy sauce will do. Any vinegar will do. I'm using coconut vinegar. A little bit of coconut sugar. If you don't want to use uh, any sugar, but if you don't want to make it sweet, then you don't have to. <gasps> Again, I forgot, you know, something with my finger. Just Ghetto, ghetto, ghetto. Ooh, I like. Okay, so you gotta flip it again. Okay, let's see if I could do this right. Because sometimes they break on you and stuff, but. Oh, God, let's try this. They look okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. You could add some oil in between to make it more crispier or you know if you want to make it more fattier, whatever you want. If you don't want it, don't do it, okay? Guys, it looks ready. Oh my god, it looks ready. I'm gonna try some. Oh gosh, look at that. Oh my gosh, look at this. Mushroom. Scallions. Oh. Dip in the sauce like so. Oh my god. Mm. Of course I'll be eating this with my mother-in-law. <laughs> mother-in-law, if you're watching, I'm getting low. I'm running, running really low on kimchi. I don't know. I think we should get some coupon code for your mother-in-law kimchi. What do you think, guys? Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's like, you don't understand. like. When the scallion gets cooked, it's sweet. You, you don't see, you don't taste anything. Hello? Hello? What are you doing? I'm doing mukbang. You still doing mukbang? Yeah. Uh, if there's a range that you can game, might be canceled, right? You wanna say anything to my, my fans? What? Can you say hi to my fans? Hello. He's hiding your fans actually. <laughs> hello. Hello. He says hello. Everybody, he says hello. Mom, mommy. I'll see you later, babe. Mommy, no Ruben. Mom, mm. no Ruben. Mm? No Ruben. Mm? No Ruben. No Ruben. Mm? No Ruben. I know. I, oh my god. Oh my god. When the mushroom, like when you eat the 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 uh, the, the shiitake mushroom. Oh my gosh, it's like heaven. If you love mushroom, you'll love this. Mmm. 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 Oh my god. It's one of those things that you don't want to chew and you just want to swallow because it's good. Do you ever eat one of those like dishes that you eat and then you're like, you, you can't help to just gulp it down because it's good? It's like one of those. Mmm.
You want some? You want some? You want some? <laughs> mm. Do you hear that? Mm. That's from the enoki mushroom. No? Oh my gosh. It's really good. People eat spicy hot foods challenge. I think we should do like temperature hot food challenge because it's hard to eat good food but hot, you know, temperature wise. It's amazing. Pepita! What? No, don't say what to me. Come here. Try this. Baby does. Come and try this. What? Come and try this. Come here. Love it. Mm -hmm. Come back if you want more. Okay. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Scallions are so good for you. And this is very filling and healthy. What do I say about the greens? Always eat your greens. Greens. You know, everybody says, I'm on a vegan diet, but if you really think about it, we're on a plant-based diet, plants. When you think of plants, what color are plants? Red, yellow, plants. We think green. So you gotta eat a lot of green. Mm. <laughs> Mommy can. You're not gonna talk about anything today? I'm just gonna eat? Wow. Sometimes you just have to shut up and eat, okay? Some people actually want me to just do this. Shut up and eat, okay? They think I talk too much. They unsubscribe me, because I talk too much. Mmm! Mmm, that crispy. Jorgi, Jorgi, I love that. Mm. I'll tell you a funny story then. Since you guys are all waiting for me to tell you a little story, let me tell you a little story, okay? When I was in Korea, I used to, I, I lived in Korea till I was 10. And I guess it's like that everywhere, but Korean girls, they know how to be a total bitch sometimes. They do. You know how some Asian girls are really nice and some Asian girls are really like a bitch? <laughs> I think they learned that from a very young age, you know? What were you? Were you a nice sweetie or were you a mean girl, Mommy Tang? I was in between. You know, I was nice to some people. I was a real bitch to some people. Um, there was this one girl in my class, you know, she, she was a bitch, 
Shoot, we were, I was like eight, I remember. I was like eight or nine or something like that. She's a little bitch. You have to be a bitch at nine year old. My memory about her is that she was nothing but a bitch. That's like so not nice. That's like retarded, I think. But anyway, there are girls like that, you know what I mean? So she invited me over to her house, you know? And her dad used to travel to US a lot, like overseas for whatever the business purposes. And back in the day, like, you know, like 30 years ago, not many people were traveling to US. So she had all this cool stuff, you know, from the United States. And people 30 back 30 years ago, if you have anything that's like from US, like a Barbie doll or I don't know. We used to play with paper dolls, but if you have a Barbie doll or you no, know, like you know, like candies from you know America, then you're like considered like wow, everybody wants to be your friend, you know? So she was one of those girls. So she invited me to her house. And I was kind of borderline kind of like that because my, my my dad at that time was traveling a lot to Canada because we were thinking of coming to Canada. So my dad used to come to Canada and he used to bring me some stuff, you know? So I, you know, I have some stuff. So she's like, one day at her house, she's like, mm. Mm. She's like, with the bitchy attitude, you know? Mm. No pizza mungi ani. So, me, <laughs> I gave her a little bit of attitude, but I was still a nice girl, you know? So I said, ani? Like that, you know? I wasn't like, ani? Like that, where I was just like, ani? Like that, right? And then she goes, pizza do bulla? And inside, I was like, Grr, you know? As a young girl, but I was like, you know? And I was saying, okay, I gotta try this, what, this, what she's talking about. Mm. So good. And she's like, "No need to be microwaving, Nini." So I said, "Do you mean microwaving? Only some people have it, Nini." Not everybody had it, you know. But I kind of like said it like that. I was like, oh, you know, like all with an attitude. I was like, oh, and she goes, I was like, oh, she was like nine, nine, eight, nine. She gets a loaf, you know, like a slice of bread, just toast bread that we have, like the wonder bread, bread. She gets that, right? Then she puts Tons of ketchup on the top, on the top, right? Then she puts cheese whiz. You know that little slices people bake grilled cheese with. That you know, one with the, the plastic thing. You have to take it out, and there's like a slice of, you know, American cheese, whatever. She puts that on top of the the, the ketchup. So she puts it in the microwave. She takes that out. She goes, "You get pizza," and I was like, "Oh, you know." But I don't remember how it tastes like. I don't remember. All I remember was it was nasty. So I said to myself, "Well, kentane, like you know, I don't want to eat whatever, you know." Back in the day, ketchup and cheese like that, it was they had Korean brands. But for you to eat like a Heinz ketchup or like you know American cheese, you had to get it from US. So it was a big deal. So for her, it was a big deal, you know, like. So I came home and I was like, "Oh, that's pizza, okay? That's my first experience." about pizza. Then, a few years later, I moved to Canada and there's this guy that came over to our house. He was kind of cute, you know? His family came over and they're like, oh, have you had pizza? And I was like, yeah, I had pizza. You know, I was like, oh, what did you You know, with the attitude, like, I know what I'm talking about. And he goes, oh, what did you eat? And I was like, oh, what did you eat? 
But he's like, mm, cool that. And then he orders pizza, the real pizza, you know? In Canada, I still remember, I don't know if this, it's nine, six, seven, eleven, eleven, yay, pizza, pizza. Oh, 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 it was that. I don't know if it's still there, but that used to be it when, when I was going, you know? Mmm. 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 Cause pizza. Pizza gets delivered to our house. Actually, this round thing with a whole bunch of stuff on it. I think he had like, you know, pepperoni and all that stuff, I think. I said, Pizza, what do you say? And he was like, I thought you had pizza already. No, pizza, what about that, man? I was like, 먹어봤는데 이거 이거 말고 딴거 먹어봤는데요? <laughs> he was like, 어떤 거 먹어봤는데? I was like, 이거 네모난 거 먹어봤어요. <laughs> he was like, 네모난 피자? He probably thought that it was square pizza or something. Like and he was like, 어, 그래? 이거 한번 먹어봐. He gave it to me. I ate it. And at that point, okay, wait, it's too big for you, boo. At that point, I was like, either he's lying or she's lying, because they don't taste so light. And they both call it pizza. Who's lying? No, I want that. I want some more. No, it's too salty. Here, ah. Uh. Mm -hmm. Many years later, I found out. The bitch was lying! Ketchup and cheese. That's not, no, that's no pizza. That's, that's, I don't even know what it is. Anyways, that's my story. Mommy Tan, you look a little tired today. I am very tired. I really wanted to nap today, you know? Like do nothing and just nap. But what do I say? I love you guys. I gotta put this mukbang because some people wait for me. They, they, they're like, you know, they're like, when you read the comment, they're like, Mommy Tang, it's 2 o'clock here, I'm waiting for you, where are you? I'm coming, I'm coming. Guys, try this recipe. I finished it, it's amazing. So amazing, it's filling. You could do this instead of like, <laughs> the real pizza. You know what I mean? I'll see you later. Take okay, game. I'll continue the story with my husband someday. I promise. See you later. Alligator. <laughs>